Hello, I'm Ricky Spears, and this video is a follow-up to a blog post that I wrote nearly two years ago called Create a Detailed Custom Task Notification with a SharePoint Designer Workflow. This blog post has been incredibly popular, but a lot of people have emailed with questions about saying that they don't really understand exactly what I'm doing and how I'm referencing and doing some of my lookups. So I decided to record this screencast to see if I could explain it a little bit better in real time some of the things that's going on in this particular uh, type of workflow. My original blog post was written for SharePoint 2007 and SharePoint Designer 2007. However, this screencast, I'm using SharePoint 2010 and SharePoint Designer 2010. Uh, but all the principles are the same. So let's look at our landscape and show you what we're working in. Uh, here, I'm working in the production department and I have created a uh, calendar and on this calendar I have a workflow called bring donuts to meetings and the business pro business issue here is that the production department is trying to limit the number of meetings that people schedule for them so they have decided that if you schedule a meeting for the production department you've got to pay a price and the price for scheduling a meeting is that you have to bring donuts to the meeting. So this workflow runs on the calendar list. Uh, it starts automatically whenever a new item is created. And if we look at the workflow itself, it's pretty simple. Uh, it checks to see if the title field contains the word meeting. Uh, if it does, it will assign a task called buy donuts for meeting uh, to the uh, person who scheduled the meeting. And I have already scheduled one meeting on my uh, calendar here. And I received that, that notification. I deleted it, though. So let me move this out of deleted uh, into the inbox so that we can take a look at it. Uh, this is the default email that SharePoint sends when a task is uh, assigned. So you'll notice that we do see the title of Buy Donuts for Meeting here. Uh, and we see that the item on the calendar is called Christmas Cleanup Meeting, but it doesn't tell us anything about when the meeting is scheduled or anything else that we, that the person may want to know. There's nothing about um, the date of the meeting or the time of the meeting um, or anything like that. So what we'd like to do is instead of users getting this standard uh, template email, we would like for them to get something that's much more customized, that has all the details in it that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, a few things. Uh, first, let's go over to our task list. And so here is our task list. And here is the uh, task that was created when I added that item to the calendar. Um, if we look at the settings for this particular list, and we go into the advanced settings, uh, one of the options here is email notification. And the default is that this is set to yes, to send an email when ownership uh, is changed or assigned. Uh, since we're going to create our own custom task notification, uh, one of the first things we need to do is we'll turn this off. Uh, that way our users don't get two notifications. If we leave that turned on, SharePoint will send one natively, and then, our, and then we're going to write a workflow that will send another one. So, so we'll turn that off, and then let's also go back over here and look at the task list and see what else happened. There was something that happened when we published our workflow here called Bring Donuts to Meetings. You, we have this task that we created called Buy Donuts for Meetings. And I'm going to take a look at this uh, in the wizard. You'll notice the name of the task is Buy Donuts for Meeting, and the description is just make sure they're fresh. If we come back over here to the task list and we expose the items ribbon, you'll notice that we can create a new Buy Donuts for Meeting task right here. Uh, we don't want to do that, but we can. And the reason we can do that is because when we publish uh, a workflow that has a task in it uh, to assign a to-do item or to collect data from a user um, or to collect data from a group, 
uh, what it does is it creates a new content type for that particular type of task and then adds that content type to our list. So here is our buy donuts for meeting content type that has been added to the task list. So what we want to do is we want to write an email that looks for particular content types and then sends an email that's customized for just that type of content. So let's get started doing that. I'm going to go back over here to SharePoint Designer and uh, click on Workflows and let's create a new list workflow that runs on our task list. So I'm going to choose the tasks list and I'm going to call this uh, I'm going to call this email or this workflow uh, send custom task notifications and my description for this is going to be um, sends different emails based on content type for the task. So I'll click OK and it takes me in to directly to start creating my workflow. Now the first thing that we need to do, we may have multiple different multiple content types, different types of tasks that go into the same li task list. And what we want to do is for certain content types, we want to send specific emails that have specific information in it. So the first thing we do is we're going to add a condition. And this condition is going to use the we're going to use the if current item field equals value. And the field that we're going to look at is content type. And the value uh, that we want to look at, let's go back over here and make sure we get it exactly right. The value that we're looking for is buy donuts for meeting. And just to make sure that I get this right, uh, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste that into uh, this box here. So if the current item content type equals buy donuts for meeting, then what we're going to do is we're going to send an email. So I'm going to use the action to send an email. Uh, if I had uh, different types of tasks that were in my list, uh, in my task list, uh, I would create a condition for each one of those content types. Uh, so let me click on these users and go ahead and customize my email. Um, so who are we going to send our email to? This is, this, this is pretty easy. We're going to do a workflow lookup. Uh, we want to send our email to, to whomever the task was assigned to. So that's pretty easy. So we're going to add a lookup for a user and we're going to look at the current item assigned to and we'll do this as an email address and so at this point uh, we are um, uh, we're sending the task to the same thing that SharePoint would send its notification to natively that the, the person the task is assigned to. Uh, the next thing we do is we're going to modify our, our subject line and the subject line for the one that SharePoint sends natively just says tasks by donuts for meeting has been assigned to you. Uh, let's change our subject line to say you need to buy, I like capitals in my subject line, you need to buy donuts for a meeting you scheduled. And down here we're ready to start typing the body of our email message. Uh, and this might be something uh, like we might say, um, we might provide the reason for the fact that he's having to buy uh, these donuts for the meeting. And so we might say that the production department is trying to reduce the number of meetings that get assigned to us. Show us this is an important meeting. You need to buy donuts 
for the meeting. And we might want to say, uh, we might want to provide in this the title of the meeting as well as the date and time that the meeting starts. And so let's put in, um, let's just do meeting title here. And we'll do start date and time. And then we'll say thank you. The production department. So this is going to be our custom uh, email, but we want to dynamically populate the meeting title and the start date and time. So let's click up here, and we're going to add a lookup to our email. So our meeting information. Let's go back over here to our browser. Uh, our meeting information is stored in the calendar. So let's, uh, let's go back over here and we're going to tell our workflow to go out to the calendar list and do a lookup from there. Now it wants to know what field we want to bring in. And the field we want to bring in, if we look at our, our our calendar. Let's change this to the all events view. And what we want here is in the title column. Uh, in this case, Christmas cleanup meeting. So we're going to tell it to give us the title from the calendar. However, we have a problem. And here is the problem. The problem is that we might have 20, 30, or maybe 200 or 300 calendar items. But we need to tell our workflow to go look up one particular item. So to do that we need to match up a couple columns. Uh, I'm going to modify this view of the all events uh, the all events view of my calendar uh, to show a column called ID. Uh, every item and every list and every library in SharePoint has an ID. Uh, in this case, the ID is 1 uh, for, for this particular item on the calendar. If we add another new item, uh, let me add another new event that we'll call our uh, New Year's Cleanup. And we'll schedule this one for... Uh, October or December 29th. We save this item. You notice it has an ID of 2. Now let's go over here and look at our task list. Let's modify the all tasks view of our task list and we're going to show two columns in that. Um, let's modify this view. And uh, actually, the, the column that I want to see doesn't show up as a column here. Uh, if, I, if I show ID, um, I can show you with ID that each item in the um, each item in the task list has an ID as well. So this is item one and two. And if you're wondering, well, why didn't we get a new task assigned to us? Uh, the reason we didn't get a new task assigned to us there is because that over here in the calendar list we just called this the New Year's Cleanup. We didn't call it the New Year's Cleanup Meeting. So it didn't have the word meeting in it. But what we're going to do is we need to match up two things. Uh, so in our workflow we need to choose which item from the calendar we want to match up with something on the task list. And that ID field that I was just telling you about is what we want to match up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to scroll down and select the ID field. And then it wants to know what do we want to match that up to. So we're going to click on our formula button here. And we're going to tell it to go to the current item. And if we scroll down to the bottom of this list, there is a workflow item ID. And what gets what is in the workflow item ID for a particular task? Uh, if we look at 
this task for buy donuts for meeting. Uh, the workflow item ID is the ID of the item that for the related content. So what I'm saying here is go out to the calendar and give me the title for the item where the ID is equal to the workflow item ID for this item here. Now we also want to get the start start date and time so we're going to do that same lookup again or same type of lookup. We're going to tell it to go out to the calendar and give me what's in the um, what's in the start start time and we want that for when the ID we want the one where the ID is equal to the current item workflow item ID and we might want to make these two things bold or italicized or make them different color or something um, but we'll just make them bold here so what I've done here is I've just created a custom email for one for one type but only for that one type uh, if I had multiple different content types, I would have multiple conditions there, but this should be enough to show you how the lookups work and, uh, and how everything works in general. Um, I want this workflow to run whenever a new item is created in the task list. So we'll check that option, and then let's publish our workflow. Now let's go out here and test everything. So let's go to our calendar. And remember we had this item called New Year's Cleanup. And the truth is, is I really don't want that on my calendar. Uh, so let me switch to the All Events view, which is a little easier to work with. So we're going to change this from New Year's Cleanup. I'm going to delete that item. And we're going to add a new item on the calendar. We're going, to, we're going to call the New Year's Cleanup Meeting. So this one has the word meeting in it, so it's going to trigger our workflow. Um, we'll change the date on this one from the 13th to the uh, 28th. And we'll save this item on our calendar. So what should have happened is over here on our task list, we should have had a new item assigned to us to buy donuts for the meeting. Um, and this is for the New Year's cleanup meeting. So our workflow is running. Our workflow, That workflow, our first workflow, is correctly uh, creating the task that it needs to create uh, here. And so let's go out and do a send receive on our email. And here you'll see the custom email uh, that we created. Uh, it has the subject line, you need to buy donuts for a meeting you scheduled. Um, and it has our reason for this. It has the meeting title, which is New Year's Cleanup Meeting, and the start date and time uh, for this particular meeting. And I think most of you will tend to agree. I didn't spend a lot of time trying to make this fancy, but I think you'll, you'll agree that this is probably a little more useful um, than uh, and uh, just, just friendlier uh, than the emails that SharePoint sends out uh, automatically. So anyway, this is how you s create custom uh, detailed email notifications for tasks. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and we'll see if we can answer them. Thank you very much.